So this Malibu starts from £90,000, but this exact model is £120,000. Let's go have a look inside and see what them extra features are about. Hi everyone, we have the Malibu Pythago here, the I460 LE. Now, I know I mentioned previously on my little snippet that this model is 120,000. Now, the base start at 90, but all these extras, which I'm gonna show you now on the outside, what makes it up to 120,000. Should we take a look? So let's so start with the mirrors. We've got the Malibu bus mirrors, and we also have the Malibu alloys. Then we also have the lovely grill here at the front, which is all in gloss here, as you can tell. Now let's have a look as we go around the motor home. As you can tell from here, we do have the extra large habitation door. We come down and we also have extra large garage. With most people going on the continent with these, what they do tend to find is they put the bikes or they do have scooters, which when they do get to a campsite, they can park up, they can take the scooters off site instead of taking the whole motor home. As you can see, we've got loads of space. So it wouldn't just fit them just in, you could have your seat in there, your barbecue and everything in the garage. As you follow me around to the back, which we do have the reversing camera. Now, one little niggly bit is that we do find Apart from that, it's a little bit boring on the back. What do you guys think? As you follow me around, as you can see, the door is very large. So you would have no problem getting anything in there. We get to the extra large habitation door, which I'll just show you. You've got nice space to get in and out of there. Should we have a look inside? Follow me in. So as we've entered the motor home, should we go check out the bedroom? So as I jump up, this is my favourite spec. I think it's the only one I ever, I refuse to film anything else. So it's the bed above the garage. As you can see that big, huge garage from outside, so you get all this room here. So you do get extra storage on, all on the top as normal, but also you get extra storage down here. Now, as you can see, follow down, you have this way to get in, which you can see the filler cushion is just there, which we can see in a minute how to do that. And then also we can just lift from this angle as well to get things in nice and easily. Now, it might be a bit of a struggle, but I will show you my way, but then also add a little snippet in there of how nicely this comes out, okay? So, you press down, you pull out, and that's when we enter the filler cushion in just in here, okay? And it's just as easy as that, going back, just in one hand slide. Over on this side, we do have another wardrobe, one thing I do like is when they do pull out, it's nice and easier, but we do have the shelves just in there. So as we've come out of the bathroom, there's a few little bits just in between that I'd like to show you. So first of all, as we do have the bed above the cab, which I'll show you in a second, we do like that privacy of the bathroom. So we've got one door just here. So that blocks off into one bedroom. We then also have the extra door, which has just come out of here, as you can see. A little bit of force there. And that's how it shuts off the bathroom. So we close all these up. You can see it's all neat and tidy. You wouldn't even know in the day. So here we have the bathroom. Now we do have the toilet and shower and sink all in one combo, which isn't my favorite. I do like the two separate, but then I do tend to use the shower just for storing. So what we do is we walk in, we've got a lovely vanity. Then we have the toilet and then we have the sink. Now to the right of me, which Heather will be showing you in a second when she'll flash around, is we do have the shower cubicle that does pull out, so it's all oval. And also down below, you can see the nice wooden finish on the bottom that matches into the kitchen. They are removable, so it turns into a complete wet room for you to be able to use the shower. On the left, we do have another wardrobe just here, which we do have that hanging room that I said we were missing from just down here, okay? Now, as we follow through, we do have a nice kitchen. Lovely space, a lot of worktop space, which we do find a bit of a struggle in some motor homes. Now, one of them extra features we said about the extra money is just in here. As we open up, pull on out, we have a nice coffee machine, nice pod one, which everyone's used to these days. Close this back in, close down. We do have our domestic fridge here, which opens either side, which we do like. Do you know what? I have missed one detail. If we come on back, it's the true Macombi, so heating and aircon just in this motorhome as well, one of the extra perks. So let's follow us back through. Loads of storage, 
as we can tell lovely cupboards as always going through and let's not forget we do have the storage just down here and included now if we follow through to our lounge as such so as we turn around we come into our lounge setting which this is enough room for three to four to five people you can travel with up to five people and it's got it's a five berth so what we do have enough room in the lounge obviously our captain seems to swivel around we do have a nice sliding table just in front of me now in our cab as we turn around we've got the nine speed automatic gearbox and we do have full dab reversing camera parking apple carplay everything on this pioneer system as we look over to the right we do have the reversing camera just down there and we also it does come up on here as well as you can see we do have the lovely ambient lighting throughout the motorhome as always and we do have the lovely blinds in the front that pull down which you'll see in a second when i stand up the pull down above cab bed as we come out this isn't automatic it's just the manual pull down you bed above the cab which has never been my favorite and then we push back up so guys i hope you've enjoyed the video there's a few fun facts well depends what kind of age you're looking at myself i can't drive this vehicle just because of the payload it's 4250 kilograms so i would need to take my 7.5 ton license which is pretty easy at the moment i would say that but i've got two guys in the office they've done their practical and their theory and they've been able to take it it's taken about six months for them to do so it is something you can do but you would need that for this license for to drive this motorhome so guys what do you think to this malibu cathargo would you pay the extra and get the extra spec that takes you up from 90 to 120 000? let me know in the comments below like and subscribe to the channel as always and we'll see you again